Hi, I'm Teresa from Our View, and I'm doing this video with no makeup on because um, I'm doing it for, we'll say, mature skin. I'm in my 60s, and I'm going to show you what I do every day. So, I, this is my headband I use to just keep everything out of my hair. I have already done my cleansing. I use, um, this morning I used Bloom from Young Living and cleansed my skin. And um, I have, I'm traveling, so I don't have the jars here, but this is sandalwood moisturizer. And I put a little bit of it, a dab of it in my hand, and then I put Progescence Plus. Progescence Plus is great for the skin. And so I put four or five drops in it, and I just rub it together and put it all over my face. But my eyes really, I'm traveling, and the sleep isn't the best sometimes, and my eyes needed some extra help. And I found that CBD Calm, just right here, makes me feel better about myself. I'll just put it that way. So I've already cleansed, I've already done all of that stuff, and I'm ready to put makeup on. However, this little thing for anyone in their 60s will be your friend. It's called, I think it's called a Tinkle, which is a terrible name. But it's a little blade, and I just kind of go over some spots real smooth. And and here, you get fuzz through here, and your makeup doesn't look as good. So I just wipe it off. And I do this a few times a week, actually. That way my makeup is much, much smoother. I learned this when I went to an esthetician, and she did a facial. And she said, this is going to make your makeup go on smoother and look much better because the hairs don't get in the way. So I went home and I got on the computer and I found some and bought myself. And I do this so that I don't have to go as often. So that's the beginning. And then I have, now I don't, didn't bring all my brushes because like I said, I'm traveling and I was trying to travel light. So usually I, this is the, Young Living Savvy Makeup, and this color is Buff. And I usually use a brush for it, but I didn't bring it, so we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. And I don't have any uh, concealer with me, but Young Living has a great little concealer wand, and I didn't pack it either. But sometimes that's necessary in some important places, if you understand. So I just put this all over, blend it in well. A brush would have helped. So we'll call that good. I'm not a perfectionist, so makeup usually is, my husband says, you want to go someplace? Yeah, I'll be ready in 15 minutes. And that's including washing my hair and putting on makeup. So you can understand I'm not a perfectionist. This is it. I didn't, like I said, I'm traveling, so I didn't bring everything. So this is one of the eyeshadow groups that Young Living has. And I just decided instead of bringing blush and bronzer and stuff, I would just use one of these colors. So I knock that off a little bit. I hope that blends in pretty well. So that's what I'm using today for a blush. And then I really do like the veil. Young Living Veil sets the makeup. So I just put a little bit in the lid. I did bring a little brush. all over and that pretty much sets it so it's blended in a little, a little better. I'm going to do this one more time on top. Okay, let me tell you, one of the most important things in my whole life right now at my age is eyebrows. And, you know, thyroid issues over the years can affect your eyebrows. So many things can affect them. But, see, there's not much here. So, we're going to make an illusion that I have some eyebrows. And this is actually not for eyebrows. 
I, I bought all of the kit that Young Living has so that I could show the different products. And so I have the dark um, foundation and I've learned it's too dark for my skin, obviously, but I don't want to waste it. So when I ran out of the multitasker, I just started putting some of that dark foundation in here and that's what I'll use for my eyebrows. But I will tell you something else. I also use it for self tanning. So I take the same thing and it's probably dark three maybe. I take the same thing and I blend it with the lavender uh, or sensation body lotion and that's what I put on my legs if they're glowing in the dark in the summer. Now it doesn't stay, it's not like a self tanner, it washes off when you shower, but it looks good. So it keeps me from glowing in the dark and I look like I have a little mini tan and it's actually with a dark foundation from Young Living. So eyebrows are a big deal. And I don't want eyebrows that look, you know, like I'm not trying to look 30. I'm, I've given that up a long time ago. I just want to look alive. I want to look fresh. It looks more alive. It, make, it makes my eyes pop a little bit and we need all the help we can get right now. So I'm going to put a little bit of this eyeshadow here on mostly so that when I put the um, eyeliner on it doesn't just stick to my eyelids. This keeps it smooth. There's not much color to it, but it helps. I don't have a blending brush here. I'm just using what I have for my trip. Okay, now for the eyeliner. This is a big thing. Um, this is called misting spray. If you don't have misting spray but you have Lavaderm, I've used both and they both, both work really well. And when I use the, the powder foundation, the Savvy Minerals, I, I spray my brush with this to make sure that I don't get any of that powder in the fine lines and wrinkles because I don't want them to show. I don't want to look older with makeup than I did without. And sometimes makeup caked on and in the wrinkles and fine lines actually does that. So. Anyway, I use this on this brush, and this is that same eyeshadow. I didn't bring any eyeliner, so I'm using the same thing just because it's here. So I'm going to spray the brush over that. So I, if you couldn't see, I got it wet here to make the brush, and the, it's a dark blue eyeshadow is what it is, but I'm using it for eyeliner. And then... I just brush it on, stroke it on. So, see the difference here? I'll just touch here. And then I'll do the same over here. And mascaras. We have two different mascaras. And if I'm really wanting to do it right, I use both because this one is lengthening and I put it on and then I let it dry a little bit and then I'll put the thickening one on. So a little bit of mascara here. I have pretty long eyelashes, but they're really white. They're really, they don't show up at all. And of course, you know, once you get older, this just kind of hangs down. And so. Then you end up getting the the I, I mean the, the eyeliner up here because look at my eyes they just they're they're not the same as they used to be I've not had anything to pull them up so I, that's the reason that I was talking about to use the eyeshadow so that it doesn't I don't constantly have black marks where it sticks to the eye, eyelid so usually I do this I put this mascara on and, and my, to be honest, most days I do one. I just grab one and I put it on. But if I'm trying to look a little better and add a little more life, then I'll put this mascara on. I'll go about my business, get dressed or whatever. And then I'll go back and I will put this one on after it's set, after it dries. Now for the lips. 
We do have a lip scrub that really makes them puffy, which is great at our age because you see there's not, it just is, doesn't have the puff to it anymore. I don't have any Botox in it or anything. So uh, sometimes the lip scrub just kind of gives it a little puff. Um, also the cinnamon um, uh, lip balm, that touch of cinnamon causes the, the um, blood flow to get to your lips. So that helps too. But this is just lip gloss. And it's clear. So most days, this is all I do just to give a little, little uh, moisture. But this is one of the colored lip glosses. So I add that. My eyes are probably, the eyelashes are probably dry. So I can go over it and thicken them with this one. Makes, makes them a little heavier. Okay, that's about it. That's my makeup in six, my 60s. Uh, are you ready to get started with Young Living? If you are, please go to youngliving.com. There's a place there that says become a member. But first, contact the person that told you about Young Living. We want you to connect with the person that was connected with you. So go to that person, tell them that you're interested, then use their member number. And if, you've, if there's no one that's talked to you about this, our member numbers, our links are listed in the description. And we will be glad to help you. So go do it. It's fun.